Hi guys, welcome back to Read With Me, LG. I am kicking off Christmas season with a very special Christmas story today. And I'm wearing my Star Wars Christmas pajamas and my hair has just been washed. I'm ready for bed, but I hope you guys enjoy this story, okay? And so we have Belowski's Christmas. Belowski? I don't know. I don't know the exact way to say it, but that's how I always grew up saying it is Belowski. So this was a very special book to me. I don't think it's in print anymore, meaning I don't think they make new versions of this book, but this is one that I grew up reading, and this is written by Leslie McGuire, and the illustrations, meaning the artist who did the pictures, is Jerry Joyner. So I hope you enjoy Belowski's Christmas, and we're going to kick it off, okay? All right. Now we're all situated. Ready to go? Belosky woke up early. Belosky always woke up early. He sniffed the air and to see what kind of day it would be. I smell Christmas, Belosky said happily. Oh, bumblebees, Christmas Eve is tonight. So here is Belosky the bear getting ready for the day. It certainly would be fun, Belosky thought, to have a Christmas party and do everything myself. Most Christmases, someone else finds the tree and decorates the house. Someone else makes Christmas dinner. Someone else wraps the presents. This year, I'll do it all myself. Won't my friends be surprised? But I'd better hurry. He quickly ate his breakfast of honey pancakes and rushed out the door. So there he is getting situated, eating his honey pancakes. Look at that big old stack of pancakes. And he's trying to picture how he's gonna throw together a Christmas party. Deck the halls with bears and holly, tra la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, tra la 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 la. Belosky sang as he trudged through the snow. Now all I have to do is find just the right tree, he said. But finding just the right tree isn't always easy. He found a nice one, but it was too tall. He found another nice one, but it was too fat. He Then he found another nice one, but it was too prickly. So there's Belosky, trying to find the perfect Christmas tree and singing his Christmas carols. Then he found another nice one, and this one wasn't too tall or too fat, or too prickly. But try as he might, he couldn't dig it up, so he sat down, feeling very discouraged. Then he saw a funny little skinny one tree standing all alone. This tree has possibilities, Belosky thought. He looked at it again. This tree is looking better and better. In fact, this tree is the one. He carefully dug it up and carried it home. So this is one he tried, and couldn't get it up for whatever reason. And then this is the one he ended up saying is the perfect tree. The right one. Back home, Belosky found an old empty honey pot and he stood the tree up in it. Then he filled the pot with soil to hold the tree up just right. Am I forgetting something? Belosky said, oh yes, the decorations. He went into his closet and rummaged around. Then he dug in his bureau he found some spools and some ribbons. He got some shiny buttons and some bright thimbles and some silver foil. He found beads and tissue paper and little bells. So he dug it up, remember, so he could put it in a pot when he got home. So that's him planting the tree in the pot. And then he went out to see what he had in his closet that he could make decorations with. He cut and he pasted and he threaded and he sang. We wish you a berry Christmas. We wish you a berry Christmas. We wish you a berry Christmas and a happy new year. Soon the little tree twinkled and sparkled. Am I forgetting something? Belowski said. Oh yes, the Christmas dinner. I think I'll have something especially Christmassy. Like honey. And maybe some honey cakes and some delicious honey cookies and sweet potatoes with honey. 
Belowski put on his apron and got to work. A lot of honey ended up in Belowski's tummy. A lot of the cookie batter ended up in Belowski's tummy. A lot of the honey cake batter ended up on the table and a little on the walls. A few of the sweet potatoes got a little burned. So there he is making his little dinner. And there's a little bit of stuff getting all over the place, right? But he's having a good time making that Christmas dinner. <clears throat> but soon everything was ready. Belowski put up put it all out on pretty plates. He hung holly and bows over the door and the windows. Then he looked around. So it's really a pretty table and he's getting everything together. Everything looks great, he said, but I know I've forgotten something. Oh yes, presents, Belowski said. A tree just doesn't look right. A tree just doesn't look right without presents underneath. Belowski went to his desk and got out his paints and pens and paper. He drew a picture of the view from his window and a picture of himself and even a picture of the Christmas tree. So Belowski is working on his presents. You can see him hanging up on the wall behind him, right? Where they're drying. He wrapped the pictures in shiny paper and tied them with ribbons and put them under the tree. Then he frowned and scratched his ear. I think I've still forgotten something, but what could it be? He was busily thinking and frowning and scratching when there was a loud knock at the door. Who could that be? Velosky wondered as he opened the door. So he's really feeling like he forgot something. And he was thinking really hard about what it could be. And then there was a knock on the door. Merry Christmas, Belowski! There were all his friends. We were so worried about you, Susie said. It's Christmas Eve and we hadn't seen you all day. Now I remember what I forgot, Belowski shouted. I forgot to invite my friends. Come right in. I have your presents and I have your Christmas dinner already. Aren't you surprised? So he had forgot to invite them, but they thought that was not like him because they usually see him, so they showed up anyway. They did come in, and they were surprised, and it was the nicest Christmas party they'd ever had. So he fell asleep afterwards because he worked so hard. So that was Belowski's Christmas, one of my favorite Christmas time books to kick off our Christmas season. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Remember, new books every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time on Read With Me, LG.